The first believers had to make the choice that my life and my, my livelihood is not as important as what's right and the truth of God. I'll stand with that even if it meant my life. And now in the 21st century, it's actually more widespread. You see, it's not just about a political party or one nation or a few nations. It's happening all over. Happening in America, the West, and much of the world. Evil. Immorality. Good is evil. Evil is good. And it's increasingly resembling what the believers in Rome had to deal with. You're going to have to deal with it. You will have a chance to say yes or no. You will have a chance to stand for God as they did. Most people go along with it because most people go along with most people. The culture used to say good is good and evil is evil in many ways. And people said, okay, that's what it is. But when the culture says now evil is good and good is evil, they say, okay. Because. Why? Because they have no other king. All they have is the culture. All they have is the government. All they have is this, so they have nothing on which to stand except this. You understand? They don't have it. That's why churches, there are churches, there are denominations that have gone apostate. They've embraced what they never would have embraced before, not because they, they received any spiritual revelation. They're simply going along with the world as they, as they have done for a long time. And when the world went, became rotten, they just went with it and they called it holy. They may speak in the name of Jesus, the, some of these denominations and some of these, quote, ministers. Not They may speak in the name of Jesus, but he is not their king. They are not his people or his subjects. He doesn't even know them. That is, that is when you don't have that king. At the end of the Second World War, when Nazism was defeated, the leaders of the Third Reich were arrested, brought to trial, to judgment in the city of Nuremberg, Germany for crimes against humanity. On that trial, they made their defense, and you know it because it's become like a cliche. They said, we were only following orders. We had no choice. The government, they were the government. They, government they, Hitler said, we had to do. But Nuremberg came up with a judgment that was unique. They said, it doesn't matter what the government said. They said, if the government says you do this and it's evil, you can't do, you are accountable to a higher authority. And that's true. But that higher authority is the other king that you have. You see, when it comes all down to it, when the laws and edicts of one kingdom and one king go against the commandments of the other king and the other kingdom, that's when it will all be revealed who our king is, who your king is. Really. Are you serving Caesar are you, or are you serving the other king? Are you serving self or the other king? In the end, you cannot serve both. You'll either love the one and hate the other or hate the one and love the other. Choose you this day whom you shall serve. Whom will be your king? The ways of darkness, the way of darkness is to seek to force God's people to bow down before evil. And it's happening now, increasingly. It was never about tolerance. Some of us remember the 60s or the 70s. Hey, do your own thing. Be open. Everybody do your own thing. That was only to get in the door. Now, once in the door, it's now saying, don't do your own thing. We will cancel you. We will boycott you. We will, we will prosecute you. We will sue you if you try to do your own thing. If that own thing goes against us, that own thing being God. So therefore, for the first time in history, Christians, bakers are being forced, trying to be forced to bake cakes that celebrate what God says. This is sin. This is evil. To force Christians in the wedding industry to celebrate sin. To seek to compel Christian teachers to join in indoctrinating children against the ways of God, which they know is wrong. To cancel them out. That's when it will matter for you. When the time comes, and it will, that you're asked to go against the ways of God, or lose your job, lose your reputation, be persecuted by the culture, be prosecuted by the state, in that day, what will you do? Which king will you serve? When the time comes, and it will, when they seek to force you to stop proclaiming the word of God, will you bow down? When the time comes, they seek you to confess a lie, 
celebrate evil or lose your livelihood, what will you do? When they say, tells you, you cannot teach your children this from the Word of God anymore or we'll take them away. Or we will, you must let us train them against the Word of God. What will you do when you have the choice to be free of rejection and persecution, go with the majority, or just don't do anything anymore for God, compromise, or, and compromise your soul, or embrace the persecution, say, and stand with God no matter what. What if you're told they can put you in prison if you, if you speak the Word of God or do the Word of God? Well, you say, well, maybe years to come. No, no, no. It's happening now. It's right now. All you have to do is take a plane, go 40 minutes to Canada, and you're in that right now. In Canada, if anyone comes to you now, according to the law that they just passed a month ago, if they say, listen, I want to be free of same-sex attraction, and you say, well, here's what God says about that, and yeah, let me help you, let me pray for you, pastor or parent, you are considered a criminal in Canada to be arrested, imprisoned for up to five years for that act. So what do you do? You stop doing it? Or you do it? Right now in Finland, there is a member of parliament who's a Christian, and there is a pastor, and both are on trial. It started last week. Both are on trial. Why? Because they wrote a pamphlet or post with a word of God in it, and saying basically that this is God's will for marriage and, and sexuality, and not this, or not that, or not that. That's it. I think in 2004. And they're being on trial for that. The Bible's on trial in Finland, a quote Christian nation. And they, if they are found guilty, they go to prison. So what would you do when it comes here to America? That's not so far. We're not talking about communist countries. We're talking about Western quote Christian countries. This is the end times. And this is the issue of the Basil Yusheteras, the other king. That's why it's so important. The same issue the first believers had to confront, that is the issue you have to confront. The first believers had to make the choice that my life and my, my livelihood is not as important as what's right and the truth of God. I'll stand with that even if it meant my life. And because of that very stand, they overcame the world. They had the power of God. They overcame the very empire that was trying to crush them. And without any weapons, without any, any political weapon, they overcame it. See, because in the end, every king and kingdom will pass away. But the other king will reign forever. The Basel Yus Heteros, you have another king. Means you are, what does it mean? Means, it means you are of another kingdom. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. Therefore, you are not, you're of a kingdom that's not of this world. That means if he's your king... That means you are not under this world. You're not bound by the world. You're not subject to the world. You are not under the world's dominion. Yes, you follow things as much as it's okay, but you're not of it. You're of another. Another king, another king that means you're of, and there's another kingdom. You are not anymore of the kingdom of sin. You are not to give in to it. You're not to let it rule you or command you, tempt you. Because it says sin is not to have dominion over you anymore. Because you're not under its dominion. You've got rights. You've got sin. You have paper. You got you have the rights. I'm a citizen, not of that dominion of sin anymore. I'm a citizen of the king, the other king. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.